<laughs> Dr. Friedman is our guest, and we hope you'll join us. You're not going to condemn uh, regulations uh, regarding emission and... Uh, I certainly am. Of course I'm going to condemn them. Why not? Because if we don't have them, you're, going, you're not going to be able to breathe. And you and I will not be in our senior years able to sit around and argue with each other. Well, those are assertions. They are statements that are made, but they are far from being correct. The fact is that uh, p pollution was going down long before we had any emission requirements. And it would go down without them. There is a case for doing something about pollution, but the way we've been going about it is the wrong way. Is there a case for the government to do something yes, about it? Yes, there is a case for the government to do something about it, because there's always a case for the government, to some extent, when what two people do affects a third party. There's no case for the government whatsoever in mandating airbags, because airbags protect the people inside the car. That's my business. If I want to protect myself, I should do it at my expense. But there is a... But there is a case for the government protecting third parties, protecting people who have not voluntarily agreed to enter. So there's more of a case, for example, for uh, emission control than there is for airbags. Mm -hmm. But the question is, what's the best way to do it? And the best way to do it is not to have bureaucrats in Washington write rules and regulations saying that a car has to carry this, that, or the other. The best way to do it is to impose a tax on the amount of pollu po pollutants emitted by a car and make it in the self-interest of, of the car manufacturers and of the consumers to keep down the amount of pollution in that way. But how would you put a monetary value on particulate matter which is emitted from the end of an exhaust pipe? You do it now. What do you mean, how do you do it? You now require people to spend something like $500 per car for the purpose, supposedly, of reducing partic particulate matter, which means for the purpose of giving them an incentive to disconnect the, <laughs> the equipment that's supposed to reduce pollution. You mean the owner? Does. People are going out of their